Hi, it's your boy Flip for Flesh I Feel. And today, man, I'm coming with another vlog, man. Today's gonna be a night vlog for the NYC. Showing what's going on, man. We in New York City right now. And uh, we just finna do a uh, little night vlog. We got a night tour coming up. So by 9 o'clock, we're gonna do that. I'm trying to get y'all an intro, cause like, you know, last time I ain't had no intro for y'all. I got a bad habit of just shooting. They just have to post it on YouTube. So we got an intro this time. Night tour, let's get it. versions of the Madison Square Garden where exactly the original home of Madison Square Garden where the Knicks and Rangers currently play and Billy Joel of course very importantly play in the current Madison Square Garden but the original two MSGs were right here in Madison Square Park and zooming into view on our left folks up above does anyone know which building this is this triangular building here folks an iconic iconic addition to the New York skyline folks who can name it so it, 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 it is in the, like, that's the o, o, OG Spider-Man too, right? Isn't that like in the, the Tobey Maguire? The young man who's got a good film education. I'm glad to hear that. Nicely done. No, it is the Spider-Man building, I believe, from the early, early Spider-Man. That is the Spider-Man. That's crazy. But it has another name, folks. It is the Flatiron building. This is the Flatiron building, folks. That is right. This triangular structure over here. And it built all the way back in the year 1902 in the Renaissance revival style. And it was originally known as the Fuller Building. But because, folks, it looks so much like a flat iron, they decided to accept that name, folks. And that is truly the only reason why it is called the Flat Iron Building, just because New Yorkers were insistent on saying the wrong thing, folks. That's our style sometimes, folks. And it just fits. And here it is today, folks. into view and at the northernmost limit of the Ladies Mile historical yeah. district which we are now and That's crazy. here on 5th Avenue and which also continues a little bit to the west of us on 6th Avenue folks. Yeah. The ladies oh either way he worked at one or two worked or stayed one of the two. State at the that was one of the main hotel. buildings. It was the sun height. It was folks, I gotta go that I gotta go back and watch it. this became a very expensive, very desirable and importantly very safe neighborhood for women of means to shop. Thereby, it became the first place in the country where women could shop unaccompanied by a male chaperone, folks. That is why it has been given the name of the Ladies Mile ever since the mid-1800s, folks. And again, it's over here on 5th Avenue and to the west of us on 6th Avenue. And many of these buildings, folks, are the 19th and early 20th century buildings, which 
would have housed the department stores that those well field women would have shopped in, folks. So we are literally cruising through history as we roll on down Fifth Avenue, folks. And to our left, you'll see another pop of green. That is going to be representing a larger green radiation of Union Square, folks. Union Square, if you are getting tired of people, right not here, sure. rentals, it was such a it was such an economically depressed time that the entire top section of the building could not be rented. Nobody could afford to do business there. What did they do to give the impression of business?